my first grade families and friends, it's Miss Burns here. We are working on math. We are in week four of teleschool, and this will be day two's lesson. So yesterday we worked on mentally finding 10 more or 10 less than a given number. And today we're gonna move on to another standard we're going to review, which is one NBT six. Now with one NBT six, we're subtracting multiples of 10. This is gonna be really pretty easy for us for a few reasons. One, we have done this before in the classroom, before we went to teleschool. And two, because we've been doing so much work with objects and pictures and beginning to do some math in our heads mentally, that this is gonna to start to be really easy for us. So our job today is this. We're gonna use objects or pictures. You know how much I really love using pictures because you always have a pencil and paper available to you. So we're using objects or pictures to subtract multiples of 10 in the range from 10 to 90 from multiples of 10, between 10 and 90. So let's talk about what this means. Well, our objects can be our base 10 blocks or whatever it is that you are using to represent 10. And our pictures are just going to be our stacks or our rods to represent 10. Three stacks or rods would be 10, 20, 30. So we're gonna use these objects or pictures to subtract. Now we know that when we subtract, we're taking away. So we're gonna be subtracting multiples of 10. Well, I know what a 10 is, right? A 10 is a group of 10 ones that we've put together to make one 10. But instead of just taking away one 10, I'm gonna be taking away multiples of 10. Multiple just means more than one. So instead of taking away just one 10, I might be taking away two 10s, three 10s, four 10s, five 10s, and I'm gonna take that from multiples of 10. So I might not just start with one 10, I might start with three 10s and take two 10s away. Let's take a look at what this actually looks like. And once you see it, you're gonna be like, oh, Miss Burns, I know exactly what you're talking about. This is actually quite easy. So when we're subtracting multiples of 10, when we subtract, we take away. We know this. Let's take a look at some examples. If we're looking at 70, 70 is a multiple of 10. 70 is made up of seven tenths. And we subtract or take away 40. 40 is another multiple of 10. Instead of having one 10, we have four tens. We end up with 30. Now you could do this with your base 10 blocks. For example, I know that 70 is the same as seven tenths, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm subtracting or taking away 40 or four tens. One, two, three, four. And I'm now left with 30 or three tens. One, two, three tens or 10, 20, 30 altogether. Now here's a trick. I can do it with my objects. I did it here with pictures. Notice that when I subtracted 40, all I did was cross out one, two, three, four of my tens. But I can also do this in my head, and here's the little hint. The digit in the tens place goes down by the number of tens we subtract. So if you notice that when we took, we started with 70 and we took 40 away, we ended up with 30. My number in the tens place, seven, went down by the number of tens I took away, which was 40, and I ended up with 30. Seven minus four is three, or seven tens minus four tens equals three tens. I could do the same thing here with 50 minus 10. Five tens is the same as 50, minus one 10, which is the same as 10, is equal to 40, or four tens. The digit in the tens place goes down by the number of tens we subtract. So if I start with five tens and I take one 10 away, well, five minus one is four. I'm now left with four tens. If I start with three tens or 30 and I take two tens or 20 away, I'm left with one 10. Three minus two is one. Three tens minus two tens is one 10. Let's do some more practice. Okay, we are subtracting multiples of 10 and I'm gonna be doing this by drawing a picture. You guys know that objects or your base 10 blocks can be very useful for you in these situations. If you prefer to use them 
or if you want to use your homemade set that you made a couple of weeks ago, that's perfectly fine, remembering that these longer strips are your tents. You could do that. But I find that drawing a picture is super helpful because I'm always going to have something to write with and I'm always going to have something to write on. So drawing a picture is a great strategy no matter what type of math you're working on. So if I'm subtracting multiples of 10 and I'm looking in my first problem to take 30 and I'm going to take 10 away, 30 minus 10 equals, I'm going to draw a picture here and we're going to see if it's true that the digit in the tens place goes down by the number of tens we subtract. If that's true, then when I take 30 and I subtract 10 from it, well, 3 minus 1 is 2. So I bet you 3 tens minus 1 ten is 2 tens. Let's see. I'm going to start with my 30. I'm representing that with 3 tens. 1, 2, 3 tens. 10, 20, 30. Now I'm subtracting. We know that subtract means to take away. So I'm going to go ahead and cross out 10 or 1 10. Whatever I have left is my difference or my answer. I'm left with 1 2 tens or 10 20. So 30 minus 10 equals 20, which makes sense because if my digit in the tens place goes down by the number of tens we subtract, 3 minus 1 is 2. Or 3 tens minus 1 10 equals 2 tens. Let's take a look at number 2. I'm going to do this one and then you guys can help me with 3 and 4. So now I'm using 50. I'm starting with 50 and I'm subtracting or taking away 20. Well, I know that 50 is the same as 5 tens. 50 is the same as 5 tens. And I'm subtracting or taking away 20, which is the same as two tens. Hmm. Well, that hint that I just told you is that the digit in the tens place goes down by the number of tens we subtract. Well, if that's true, and I start with five tens, and I take two tens away, I should be left with three tens, because three minus two is five. Let's try it. I'm going to draw 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 5 tens is 50. I'm going to subtract or take away 2 tens. 1, 10, 2 tens, or 10, 20. And I should be left with 3 tens. Let's see. 1, 2, 3 tens, or 10, 20, 30. Look at that. The digit in the tens place went down by the number of tens we subtracted. So we're now left with 30 or 3 tenths. Number three, 60 minus 40. Well, we know that six, 60 is the same as 6 tens. And we're taking away 40, which is the same as 4 tenths. Well, if I know what 6 minus 4 is, that's going to help me predict that 6 tenths minus 4 tenths is 2 tenths. Let's draw a picture to confirm. We're starting with 60, which we know is 6 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're subtracting or taking away 40, which we know is the same as 4 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4. And what do we have left? You're right, 2 tenths or 20. The digit in the tenths place goes down by the number of tenths we subtract. Last one. 70. Well, we know that 70 is the same as 7 tens. And we're subtracting or taking away 60. We know that 60 is the same as 6 tens. Well, 6 minus, I'm sorry, 7 minus 6 is 1. So that's going to help me predict that 7 tens minus 6 tens is going to leave me with 1 ten. Let's confirm by drawing our picture. 70. We know that's the same as 7 tens. So I'm going to draw that. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And I'm subtracting or taking away 6 tens, so I'm going to cross out 6 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I should be left with 1 ten. Look at that. I am. 70 minus 60 equals 10. 
Friends, when we are subtracting multiples of 10, all we need to do is subtract from our first digit. Seven tens minus six tens is one ten. If you get stuck and you can't do that in your head, feel free to draw a picture to help you out. And when you are all set, you're gonna figure out your difference or your answer. Take some time now to click below this video and go ahead and answer the questions about subtracting multiples of 10. And if you get a little bit stuck, there's an iReady video that you can also watch to help you. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.